Question. Is this our heaven? One thing we learn from the American movie The Love Guru is the great acronym of the word Bible, meaning, basic instructions before leaving earth. And after we pass the tunnel of light we arrive at heaven's gate. I heard and remember a talk regarding heaven from the alex.com phone app, and since then, I keep reminding myself this question, what if this is my heaven? And because we don't have two lives to live, we can train and trick our brain to think that this is our second heaven, and we have a third, and the first was inside our mothers. Near their heart God bless all the mothers. Welcome to Enrich Talks, here we try to inspire people, sometimes we succeed. My name is Joyce, and I am the host of today's talk. Let's begin our journey to heaven. Many times, living on planet Earth, also called Terra is not easy, and when you think or visit the beautiful landscapes that are everywhere on Earth, you feel like in heaven. When you see wars, people hurting other people, and people still dying from hunger, it looks like hell. We try to change the circumstances and make it a better world. To live in, for everyone. We have three sides of the heaven story. The first story is regarding the man in the image who arrived at the heaven's gate. He was asked immediately, how was your life in heaven? Wait. What? You say that was my heaven? Asked the man, carrying a heavy luggage of sins. Yes, we choose how we want to live our lives, in despite of the surrounding conditions. If you take good life decisions, practice love, and you become you, using your skills, birth talents, gifts, and the life opportunities you were born with. You could make it a heaven also for other people, family members, or unknown people, called planet neighbors. As you see, here we have only one gate, with different names. Are you ready to see hell? Yes, he said, sincerely being afraid. A young man, dressed like an average Joe. Without fangs, no thorns, no red skin, said hi. To him. How was your hell on earth? Wait, wait. That was my hell? Asked the man, being shocked. Yes, because you could have had a beautiful fulfilling life, still you choose to live in a comfortable mediocrity and not achieve any life goal. You were afraid to take important decisions, and this is how you stayed still in life, no progress. You could have been more, but you were lazy, and greedy, and yes you played with the sins, that you carry with you now. And I know the luggage is heavy, I can see, said the smiling Hell's Gate man. Life after life, heaven, hell, the place up there, place of truth. All these names on the same gate, the man was confused. Now, the second story is regarding a man who was a nomad traveler, visiting cities. He arrived at a gate of a city in the desert and asked permission to enter. The man before him had entered without having passport problems. A nomad capitalist was asked how good were the people from the last city he visited. He started complaining about the conditions and people. The wise gatekeeper, who knew the great living conditions from the cities nearby, refused him, didn't accept his entrance in the new city. What we see is our heaven. If he was accepted to spend a night here. In the next day, the man would say bad things also about this city, at the gates of the third city. Some people are born in great wealth, great living conditions, great and loving parents and still choose to make their own life, a hell. Others are born on streets, or in poverty, or inherit life problems from their parents, and still they grow empathy and love for other people and for life itself, in all her meanings. We see in other people life, or we have experienced. The cost of sins is also paid on earth, and also in hell. 
We see people who suffer, who are punished by state laws, by society, or by divine justice. The unwritten rules, like I call them, are real. And if you make good, things return to you. If you steal, hurt, or do bad, it will return. As we can see, heaven is everywhere, even bad things happen in our life for a reason. They become life lessons, and transform people, moving them on the right path. For the real heaven, closer to God. The third side is the opportunity he have here on earth, and the risks we take doing bad things. People who had near-death life experiences, confirm heaven and confirm hell. A famous religious debate is this, if we do good things in life, and heaven doesn't exist, nobody lose nothing, still we had a beautiful life. On the other side, if we don't care, or we do bad things to other people and ourselves, and hell exists, and we buy here on earth, the ticket for eternal suffering in afterlife. We take the risk and the life decisions. Here. I end this talk with seven international song titles. You already know, this could be heaven. Heaven is a place on earth. Stairway to heaven. Highway to hell. Knocking on heaven's door. If I saw you in heaven. And imagine there is no heaven. In the description of this talk, you have the links to my videos The Shop of God, the video called Nine Reasons to Life, and for facts about faith. That people don't understand. Or the playlist I have, regarding faith talks. You could make a heaven with what you have, who you are, and with those near you who feel the same. Please subscribe to my channel, if you like this talk. Thank you.